Welcome back to another episode of Adventure Life 613. My name is Chris and I will be the host of this video and the previous 165-ish videos, I guess, somewhere around there. Let's give that a thumbs up. Subscribe for free. It's outdoor adventure content with a focus on camping. Welcome to this video. I have about an hour left of sunlight. The forecast tonight is going to be minus two degrees Celsius, plus a bit of a wind chill. It's been on and off rain. It's clearing right now. There is a strong wind. We are supposed to have gusts to 40 kilometers an hour. It's supposed to die down a little bit overnight, but it's going to be a chilly evening. In the spring, I purchased this little buddy propane heater. Because it was on sale for a really good deal, I didn't need it in the spring, but I would need it in the fall like tonight. One, I wanna see if the fan works that I have towards one of the, the vent ports at the top to help with the condensation, as well as seeing how well this little heater works to one, help with the condensation and how much it's gonna heat up the tent. Okay. I do have my thickest thermarest. I did put another blanket on top of that to help with some cushioning and maybe a little bit of insulation. I do have my minus 18 degrees Celsius. See, actually, I think it's minus 16, minus 16 degrees Celsius sleeping bag. This is a synthetic bag. And then of course I had mentioned this down blanket in previous episodes. And then of course a pillow. I gotta get a jacket on and maybe my toque because it's dropping down. It's probably about two degrees Celsius right now. And with the wind, uh, my hands are cold. So that's where we're at. Stick around. I did grab my second propane tank. I put it up top because the first tank that I had on there um, is close to empty. So we'll let that go until it burns out. There we go. Boom. Look at that. Light. go look at that turn that one off turn the power unit off well that's it now let's wait for it to get dark We got some light, we're up top, and the temperature is dropping, not crazy rapidly, but it's it's pretty chilly out there. Ooh, let's close this off. All right. It's gonna be cool enough that if there is some more moisture tonight, that could be maybe some ice pellets or some snow. I'm hoping to wake up with some snow in the morning. That would be awesome. There you go. We just push down. We turn it to the low setting there. And you can see the flame starting to come up. I don't want to get the camera too close. The amount of heat that this thing is pumping out right now. And you can see we've got it on low. That's all we need. I don't need to crank this up. If it was minus 20 in here, maybe. There, check that out. You want to be safe or careful when, you've, when you're using one of these portable heaters because it is a burning product and there's going to be some off-gassing from that. I'm out of the elements. I'm not in the wind. So let's, let's, let's get some layers off before I overheat and then start to sweat. And like I've said before, and I'll say it again, dry is warm. Remember that. So... Uh, This thing gets toasty. Wow. Look at how rosy my cheeks are. That's from the wind today. Definitely got a bit of wind burn. Maybe 
too bad wind burn, but you can see that wind was howling all day. I haven't used this heater in the tent yet. Look at that, that glow right there. I'm gonna do this next time. A thermometer to do a test to see what was the temperature inside before firing this thing up and then what's the temperature inside here now because I am already gonna get rid of another layer. Got a nice little base layer right here, little flannel shirt and just like that, man. I am toasty. Okay, let's let's shuffle over this way a little bit. There you go. See the uh, I can see my breath. Heard some coyotes. It's five o'clock. It's um, minus one or minus two Celsius right now. Um, coyotes woke me up, so I went to go for a bathroom break outside. No snow. Everything's frosted over though. The ground's crunchy. Um, I'm gonna put this heater on again. Just to take some dampness out of the air. Instant heat. I'm cozy though. My sleeping bag is definitely warm enough. I didn't even put the heater on in the middle of the night. I didn't need to. Uh, but when I woke up, I could tell it was cool in here. So I'm probably like, you know, one and a half arm lengths from that heat and I can feel it against my cheeks. Good little unit. Problem is I'm an early person, so once I'm awake, that's usually it. But it's so cozy. <laughs> the sleeping bag. I didn't even have to tuck in the uh, the blanket on the outside, or tuck the blanket into the sleeping bag. Let's check the temperature. Officially. So do you guys can see that? Minus one Celsius. Less of a chance of rain or precipitation this morning so no flurries for me this morning oh my gosh guys the heat the heat pumping off of this unit is just wicked okay all right we'll see you soon oh there we go. Okay. You see the light coming through the tent. The sun's coming up. We'll take a look outside. It's always the coldest right before the sun's coming up. I did. I put on my little puffy. So this is a down jacket with a hood. Um, and then all I have underneath is just my, my zip neck base layer. So this... 
this is warm enough for right now. So if you're gonna use one of these, you gotta be cautious the entire time that you have this thing on because if something just touches that, it's gonna melt. The condensation on, on the inside of here, it's not bad with that fan circulating. Let's keep that here blowing right towards my feet. Recently, I teamed up with Outen. This is the Nano. This is a portable electric coffee maker. The nice thing with this is you can use hot or cold water and you can use ground coffee or coffee pods. So I'm gonna let this do the heating. I did a full review of this recently and um, I'll put a link to that. And if you wanna get a hold of one of these uh, coffee makers, you can click the link in the description, type in a promo code, which is Chris, me, C-H-R-I-S, and you can get 10% off of your purchase. This adapter is for the pods. So I've got a espresso pod, put it into there, into the unit, give that a press. Put the adapter back on, nice and snug, what they recommend. All right, let's try not to make a mess. There we go. It does have a little line indicator on the inside showing you how much, depending on the type of coffee you're making. Right now I'm doing a, a heavy hit in espresso. Press and hold for two seconds. The flashing light on here, as it's warming up and getting closer to being ready, the light indicator on that bar will keep moving up. One, two, three, four. When it's ready, it's gonna beep to let you know, and then away you go. Oh. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Look at the steam coming off of there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then at the end, it's out of water. Click it once to stop it. And a couple little drips there. Look at the crema that's sitting on the top. That's um, that's got some kick. That's some morning afterburner coffee. You know what I'm saying? That's some wake you up. Just got this unit recently, and I did the one um, um, test video, I guess. So it'll be interesting to try this out some more. Well, there you go. Cheers. Good morning. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm gonna heat up the boots a little bit. Like this. There we go. Heat up the boots. Look at the frost on the tank. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap this. Look, I can still see my breath. I got the door open. I'm gonna start to uh, gear down, finish up my espresso. And some nice heat pumping off of this little buddy heater. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was a good test for me to, to see how all of this works together when I get into some much colder weather. I was hoping for some flurries, but we didn't have it. That's all right. It's on its way. Watch what you wish for. As always, I will see you in the next adventure. Bye.